And good afternoon. We welcome you to the news at four on this Tuesday decision 2018 now exactly two weeks away and we're already seeing record numbers when it comes to early voting. KTVB Shira Matsuzawa is at one of the places where you still have time to vote today if you wish to do so. So Shira, show us what's going on. That's right, we're here on the BSU campus near the Albertson Stadium where the mobile unit you can see behind me has been here all day. And as you can see, well, there's not very many people in line right now, which means you can still come on down here for about another hour and vote if you so wish to do so. At 11 this morning, people of all ages were lined up and ready to vote. I'm voting early because I like the convenience of the trailer being on campus. Isabel Everett was one of those people. It is exciting. I mean, you get the reward of the cute sticker, but you also know that your local vote, your local vote counts. But she's not alone. It's going crazy right now. So far, Ada County has seen a record turnout. The numbers are get, uh, getting very close to a presidential race. Uh, they certainly exceed uh, any gubernatorial race we've seen. County Clerk and Chief Elections Officer for Ada County, Chris Rich, said the county is projecting up to 73 percent voter participation. He says that's about 10 to 20 percent higher than normal. So right now we're about 11,000 people. That's already more than the total number of people who voted early back in 2014. And there's still two weeks to go. People are requesting ballots by mail, and that's going through the roof. We're at, what, 26,000 right there alone. Rich says there are a lot of reasons behind the high turnout. We've got a gubernatorial race uh, that's creating a lot of interest locally and nationally. Uh, we've got some initiatives on the ballot that we really haven't had in a long time. So we've got the two at the state, the Medicare, the horse racing, and then we've got the couple of CWI and ACHD which also has something. Nancy Donahue also came by the early voting trailer today to cast her early vote, hoping her decision will make a change. I'm frustrated by things that I see happening in this state and in this country. I don't see that we're getting answers to the questions that are being raised. She says she's cautiously optimistic and urges everyone to vote. You don't have a place at the table if you don't go and vote. You don't have the right to criticize what's being done if you didn't ever make an effort to make a change. And that takes getting up, getting out, getting in line and vote regardless of how long it takes. Now, when we were out here earlier today, people were telling me that they were in and out of these lines within 10 to 15 minutes. Um, right now, if you come on down, obviously you can see there's not much of a line, so you'll probably be in and out even quicker than that. But tomorrow, the mobile voting unit will be uh, stationed at Micron on Federal Way. And uh, coming up at 5, D and Kim, I will tell you where else you can participate in some early voting if you so wish to do so. Okay. Back to you guys. All right. Well, Shira, those numbers are surprising. That's good. It's mm -hmm. good to see so many people are getting out. Again, in the Ada County clerk's words, it's going crazy right now in yeah. terms of turnout. So that is good to see.